In this video, we're gonna cover how to add an XP system to a swarm like game. Um, we're gonna be adding a health data to enemy, and we're also gonna add systems to handle the health and the XP for the player. As for our scene, we have exactly the same scene as for, uh, from my previous video. We have a basic scene where the cylinder, basically the enemy, is gonna follow the player. For my enemy script, I will need to add a health data. Let's change this to be a component. Get rid of unit engine. And we can add help and change this to struct. Now we need to create a system. The health system will handle everything related to health for our enemies. Make sure it's partial struct, I system. Now the health system, you're gonna have to imagine that we're gonna be dealing damage quite a lot to all kind of enemies, especially in a swarm game. So we cannot really use multi-threaded job here because we'll be trying to deal with health and might cause us to have inaccurate values or inconsistent values. So for a health system, we're gonna need a command buffer system. And now we're gonna want to query for every entity that has health data. And we also get entity access. Basically, we allow ourselves to reference entity here. Uh, and we check a health data has less than zero health. If so, then destroy the entity. For each player, we add 10 plus XP. So as for a player fight system, we're going to have check if there is a mouse button pressed. If so, then we get the player, we get all the enemies with uh, health data. And we basically change the health data to minus 10. Uh, we could use the data to change it instead of hard coded to actual uh, data dot damage, but in this case, let's just leave it as 10 as this is just for testing purposes. Now, if you play the game, you can see everything's working. If we right click enough times and it dies, boom, we get the XP. And we can change also this to runtime. We can select the player. And if you go to player data, we can see that XP is 10, as it says in the debug as well. 